Hi guys, and welcome back to Manikar Custom Guitars. And today I'm going to show you the process of transforming a neck blank into a proper guitar neck. So, next step for this neck blank is to cut the side profile for the neck and the top profile for it as well. What I did previously, which I didn't have footage of it, I glued these two pieces for extra meat, if I can say. So when I'm cutting uh, along this line for the profile, I have more wood so that the benzo will have more area, so to say, so I can cut more easily. And as well, if you notice, I've routed this top face with this little notch protruding. This is where the fretboard is going to stay, like so. I did this in order for the top to be grooved in, inserted here, so any edging edges it will they will be hidden from the eye, as I can say. So it will be a, a neater, more beautiful joint. So. As you can see, I already marked my cutting lines. This is all waste. <coughs> this is my extra large volute, which is like a trademark for me. And this is all waste as well. So, bands are set and they're ready to roll. Rule number one, never cut on the line. Always a few millimeters away from the line. And it's a good thing to go slow as well. Now here what I'm going to do, oops, excuse me. I'm going to do this cut freehand with a saw because my bent saw doesn't allow because of the length of the headstock to go do this cut, even here. Now let's continue doing the other one. Again, this cut 
I'm, do, I'm going to do it freehand. And even here, can trim it down by hand. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then we continue doing the front profile. Okay, as you can see, this cut is done, and even here, you know, it's, it's coming more looking like a proper neck. It is a rough cut for now, obviously later on, especially here, I will make it more round, obviously, but for now that's what is fine. Now, for the front profile, this is going to be a little bit tricky because we don't have much to be steady. So, slower and steady. Especially here, when the wings are going to be blue, they will be nice, smooth, and straight. Most important, set to be glued on. Now there are different ways to do this operation. The fast, and easy way is to use a power planer, like my 12-inch planer here. But I prefer to do more of a hands-on approach, especially with these custom fills. I prefer to use hand tools in that case. Especially this. This is my number seven jointer plane. I, re I recently acquired this piece of tool which is still has to be refurbished I guess. And well basically this is in my opinion is the best tool for this job. I cheated a bit, I already did this side, so now I just want to show you how easy it is to plane this side flat and smooth. Well, 
constant. Secure the piece. surface that I just planned and joined. The way is to take another piece of wood. In this case this is the top wing, the left wing of the guitar. Eventually that's for another episode. And the space is already joined as well. And check. If there's any rocking or if there's any play sideways, already from the sound of the wood when they are sliding, I can say that's a really good joint. There's no play. It's really. It, you can feel that the wood sticks to each other for it to move whether if there will be a high spot somewhere let's for example I put this piece of shaving here it's very thin I put again you can see how easy it is for the wood to slide whether without that piece of shaving it's really sticks and if you can see very well I'd like to take the camera out see where the boat surface meet there's no gaps whatsoever that's a beautiful joint so that's it for today next time we will be working on the fretboard and the headstock 
Until then, good day.